uh, first LA game. You know, they were a team that has had been to the Super Bowl a year before, really talented roster, still a very, very good football team. Um, that we had, that had given us a lot of headaches, you know, a, lot, a couple of the years previously with what Sean and and the rest of the Rams had been building. Um, and when we went down there to LA, um, and you know we beat them up pretty good, and that was kind of a turning point of, okay, we're at the top, you know, we're at the top, and, we're, and we are capable of beating anybody, and we just have to stay the course, do what we do, and, and things are going to fall into place, and they have. And I think that was the attitude that went into that game was carried over from the rest of them. I mean, it turned around in terms of the record from this year compared to last year is quite remarkable, but you had a lot of injuries last year. Did it always feel like when you got back to training camp that you could keep everyone healthy, you could have a special year? Yeah, and you know what? We we didn't keep everybody healthy. I went down for four games. Joe went down for a, bu a bunch more than that. Kittle went down for a couple. Juice went down for a couple on offense. Um, we didn't have a manual up until week eight or nine. Um, you know, our defense had been beat up. D had been beat up. Quan, we thought we had lost for the season, but you know, he's shown how tough he is to get back and, and fight for us in the playoffs. Tart had, was battling a broken rib and, and guys that all over the place that had, you know, we, we didn't, we weren't injury free, but the, but the way that guys stepped up in those moments to make plays for our football team and play consistent football in the times that, you know, guys that were normally the starters went down um, is why we're here where we are. And, and, it's, and it's those unsung here. It's, it's the guys that, you know, when we went into training camp, people didn't really give a lot of attention to. Um, it's the Dre Greenlaws. It's the, you know, Kendrick Bournes. It's the Dan Brunskill and Justin Schools that, that stepped up in huge ways for us that allowed us to make a run that we did. And then when we did get healthy, like these last three weeks, we've shown people what we're capable of when we have a full, when we're, when we're, when we're a full tilt. I was going to ask you about that. I was going to ask you about that. Dre Greenlaw playing week 17 against the Seahawks right at the end there. Do you think how different it might have been if you had won that game, had the week off, and then the home? It would have been colder, that's for <laughs> sure. We would have had to go to Philly first and then the Lambeau second which is not fun in January um, very thankful to have to, to have been able to stay in California for those times um, but yeah we're hi, hi Richard how are you uh, thank you um, no it was it's been huge and you you going through the playoffs you'd much rather win two games than three and that's uh, that's that's definitely huge for us hey Mike I know you're excited to be obviously at the Super Bowl personally yep. but how happy are you for Joe Staley to get back here and can you imagine had he retired uh, you know how different this would be this ex uh, for sure um, it'd be really hard to be here you know it'd be really hard for me to stomach being here without Joe um, now that I've known him I mean he's become one of my best friends over the last two years um, you know this is a this is a huge moment for him um, he's worked his entire life and his entire career which is you know 13 years long to get to this moment again and to have this opportunity to win and um, it makes it that much more special to be able to, you know, hopefully capitalize on on, on on one big win for him and, you know, give him what he deserves. And he, he's had every accolade ever that you could possibly imagine, except for being a Super Bowl champion. And that's what we want to send him out with.